Here's Ben's for playing on a major chord. So if you're playing on C major, okay, let's go through the scale and see which ones sound good. So if we start with C, with C uh, the next step up is the, the second or the ninth. This sounds good. Bending up to the D. So there's C, go. Obviously, we want to play the D note, right? So with the bend, you fret the fret below the, the note you want to play and bend it up to that fret, right? So you hear that, that's the note, and you bend up to the note, okay? So if we try the ninth, which the D is the ninth of C, sounds great. You can also play the minor third, the E flat, this sounds, this sound. Django, you'd use that kind of sound. Even on a major chord, right? You're playing on a major or on a dominant seventh chord. That's the minor third, right? So bending up. If we carry it up the scale, up to the third itself. Bending up to the E, that sounds cool. The F, the fourth, not really going to use that. Up to the fifth, we might use that. So there's the fifth, right? So we get the fret below. And bend it up to that note. And then lick like this. Sounds good. The sixth on a major chord is the A. This sounds super great, so, so you can bend up to the A there on a C. Okay, then you can bend up to the the seventh, the flat seventh, which is the B flat on a major chord. Okay, all these bends are semitone bends, so one fret okay semitone so you're going for the b flat and it sounds good as well the major seven right so on c major that's the b note one two three four five six seven this sounds great bending up to it so the fret below and bend up to that sound on that lick sounds beautiful on the C major. So just experiment for yourself going through each note of the scale. Get used to different places where you can bend. And by using bends, it's going to add a lot of character and gypsy kind of jazz character to your soloing. Okay, that's the major bends.